Hi, kids. Okay. Uh, number 62. Greatest films of all time. Touch of Evil. Uh, 1958. Directed by Orson Welles. Starring Charlton Heston, Janet Lee, Marlene Diedrich, Jaja Gabor, um, and Orson Welles. So this is another film noir on this list. A few film noirs film noirs on this list. Spoilers! Uh, it is based on a novel, Badge of Evil, uh, by Whit Masterson. Uh, who is Whit Masterson? Uh, Whit Masterson is the pen name of two individuals, uh, Robert Allison Bob Wade and H. Bill Miller. Bill Miller. Um, so those two individuals uh, wrote Badge of Evil. Um, they met at violin lessons when they were 12, and that's when the partnership happened. That's when they started writing things together. So they had been working together for quite a long time, had a long career together. So Badge of Evil. Badge of Evil comes out. Of course, the studio wants to adapt it. Who's got the rights? Eventually, uh, Charlton Heston reads the screenplay, says, yeah, all right, good enough. So he signs on, and uh, Charlton is the one who suggests Orson Welles as the director. There was not yet a director attached, and Welles finally says, all right, I'll direct it. Because for some reason, Orson Welles had a hard time get making movies. Uh, one of the greatest directors of all time, made some of the greatest films of all time. Some of them might be on this list. Um, maybe because of his personality. Um, he had a hard time getting films made. Um, he especially had a hard time getting um, the edit of the films that he made out to the audiences. So Wells comes on. He's the director. Uh, he can have uh, a shot at the screenplay, which he wants to. Um, but first, he has uh, some rehearsals with the actors. They go over the script. They work things out. And he asks the actors for their input, uh, their insight. What do they feel about the characters, uh, the scenes? What can they add? What do they like? What don't they? Then he goes away for two weeks and he writes the screenplay. So, Orson Welles. Uh, one of the biggest changes that he makes between Badge of Evil and uh, Touch of Evil is uh, he changes Charlton Heston's character to become a Mexican. Uh, he changes the location. Originally, I believe it was taking place in San Francisco. This is a border town, Mexican border now instead. Um, so he ch changes some of the themes, things he wanted to talk about. Um, that's why he changes the location. Nowadays, you probably wouldn't be able to cast Charlton Heston as a Mexican. I don't know if there's a lot you could have done about that in 1958 since uh, Charlton Heston had already signed on to the picture. He's the one that got you the job. and You decide you want to make the character Mexican. You can't really say, fire Charleston, leave, right? So take that into consideration when you're watching a guy in brown face. Still not good. Nope. But... I don't know. Anyways, uh, by the way, if this list wasn't predicated on other lists, if I was genuinely making a list of what I thought were the 100 greatest films of all time, is one that I would still definitely have on this list. Um, comfort viewing. You guys have shows, movies that you watch for comfort viewing. You get home and you don't know what to watch and you just turn on The Office and you have it going in the background. Uh, my comfort viewing lately last month has been touch of evil just watch it i watch it and i watch it and there's that opening crane shot and there's so many shots that i just watch and i'm just how did they do that leaning forward and i'm watching um anyways enough about me um touch of evil why is it on the list i didn't make this list i made this list but i didn't make this list uh, so Sight and Sound, 
2012 polls. It is number 26 on the director's lists. Uh, Bong Joon-ho, by the way, had it on his list in 2012. It's one of the greatest films of all time. And number 57 on the critics list. Not a surprise to me that it is a film that is uh, loved more by directors than critics. Um, you will see that sometimes. On Metacritic, it is number 16. Uh, it has a score of 99 with 19 reviews. That's 99 out of 100. If you go on Metacritic and you look at the films directed by Orson Welles, uh, most of them are up there on that list. Anyways, Touch of Evil, just go watch it because it's awesome. And then watch it again. And then watch it again and never stop watching it. Thank you for watching this. Like, subscribe.